Mateo Tunic here, back with more Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth! Last time we left off right before we dealt with uh, Crusadermon and Examon. So this time we're gonna get right into it. Uh, I may just use some items just to make sure my, my, uh... Just some of these. One of those on Fred, just to make sure. We are going to get right to business. Mystery! Heh. <laughs> I would have thought the eaters would have gotten you by now, yet you still cling to life. So that really is your true form, then. That reminds me. This is the first time I've shown you this form. Allow me to introduce myself, then. I am the Lord of the Nightmons. Made from a deviant virus type among the royal knights. My name is Crusadermon. I shall snatch the shining rose of victory. This is indeed my true form. You're the one who took con who controls the eaters. You got into Kamishiro, aided Suedo with his work to get what you needed. Continued your preparations. Wahahaha! You should be thanking me! My help revolutionized that research! Yet to think that controlling digital waves would produce this much power. This was a result even I did not expect. I'm shocked that Suedo, no, that any human could come this close to the digital justice. You'd use that power to destroy innocent people? Why? How could you do such a thing? Innocent? Preposterous! You all shall all reap what you have sown. The Eden network created by your father became the path, and his children opened it up. And then the nightmare began. The eaters began eroding away our digital world. Hey? What? I purged the sin of Eden's creator, said Toru Kamishiro. Other sins remain. Then it was you who... You know, feed him my father after all? I'll never forgive you. Never! <laughs> you humans are the ones who cannot be forgiven. How many times must I say it? Examon, you won't forgive them either, will you? These howling, noisome, squirming humans! Rejoice! The sins of humankind will be burned away by Examon, the Dragon Emperor. Do you think you can stop that from happening? <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This is bad. We have to stop Examon. If we don't, the human world is done for. It... It'll totally work out. Uh, right? It has to. Now, more than ever, we must all work together. I hear the voice of my true friends. The greater our urge to protect this world, the stronger we become. Rina is also fond of this world, and so I must not let it be destroyed. Yeah. <gasps> With this much power in one place, we can do it. Have you not seen the boy? He should be headed this way. I see. He was steadily accumulating more power while evading my pursuit. We'll have to get him next time. But first things first, we fight together to stop Examon. Let's go full bore. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's fight. Fight, 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 fight. So yes, we are getting a little help. And Amon's already down. That's not great. Ok, 
Okay, that's at least a mega, so... It's time to go to work, boys! Get him, Fred! Okay, we're not. Ow. That's very hurtful, I don't like it. Ow. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe this is an event. Damage drop. Who knows? We're just gonna keep going. Honestly can't tell. Like this seems awful. Yeah, this is going nowhere fast. If this is the pace okay, there we go. There it is. God. We won't be able to use ordinary means after all! It's no good. It's not working! Examon's getting away! Tunic, I'll go after him! Otherwise, my master will be in for a beating! I'll go too! If we let him escape, Rena will have my head! <laughs> I leave this to them for now! I must recuperate. Gallantmon, are you okay? Yes, I'll pull through. I see. I'm glad you're still fresh. Watch out, Gallantmon! You're too late. It can't... Ha ha ha! Now you'll see! Ha ha ha! Gah! Eh! Oof! So this is the power of the royal knights! Ah! Uh, what? Uh, ah! It, it burns! I'm overflowing! With power! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! This is it! This is the power! This is what I was after! This! I hate him. What's go- What's going on? What? Tell me! What is this? Why is this happening? Hey! Somebody say something! Somebody! Please! We let Crusader Mon slip away, and we were unable to restrain Examon. And... I lost my sworn friend. Gallant Mon. The operation was a complete failure. Tunic. Let's go back to the agency and regroup for now. Everyone is exhausted after fighting Examon.
The monster that suddenly appeared in Odaiba is currently flying over Tokyo, wreaking extensive havoc throughout the city. The government has issued a state of emergency, called in the armed forces, and urges extreme caution. Citizens are asked to remain calm and to take and do not take any rash actions that might as I feared, Exavon is a grievous is a grievous threat. I'm so sorry. We failed. It's pointless to regret the past. There is nothing else you could have done. Besides, all is not yet lost. After analyzing Examon's movements, I found that after a period of activity, he must then always go into a resting state. A massive digital wave must be needed to maintain the incredible amount of data Examon has. You're saying Examon has terrible fuel efficiency? Something like it. And while he is in this resting state, the digital wave fuels him externally via, di via, via a digital line. If it's a digital line, then it must be under Crusader Mon's control, right? I believe that. By continuing to supply the digital waves, she's controlling the partly bugged Examon in much the same way as the Eaters. If that's the case, cutting off the digital wave supply ought to weaken Examon and release him from Crusader Mon's control. <gasps> way to go, Kyoko! What a swift and unprecedented recovery! Truly amazing! All I can offer in return is some tasty coffee! Whoa! No, no, that's not what I meant at all! Unfortunately, there's no time for that now. Let's continue the discussion. I traced back the flows of the digital waves. There's a place in Kowloon where the flows all overlap. I located this interchange. That is where the digital waves flow into the digital line. I'm guessing it's a control point. And Miss Reed. I mean, Crusader Mon would be there? That is a distinct possibility. Then I'm going! Please, let me go! Hmm... It would be a better plan to wait for Omnimon and the others to recover from their battle with Exabon while we gather intel in the meantime. But I can see that won't stop you. I shouldn't doubt you. After all, you proved your skills quite well when you acted as you go. Moving forward, you will need great battle skills. But no one is expecting you to work alone. Tunic will accompany you, alright? Sure. Excellent. The interchange is at the back of Kowloon level 5. It's a key location for our enemy, and our foe is none other than Crusader Mon. There will undoubtedly be traps you will need to be... You will need to keep on uh, keep on alert for. Exercise all due caution. Okay, Tunic. Let's meet in Kowloon. I'm counting on you. Yuko. She's sure gotten into a tiff. She's not angry. She's eager. Now that she knows that Crusader Mon defeated her father, it's a reasonable reaction from her. Still, in her state, she could easily allow herself to slip up. Tune it. Keep a close eye on her for now. <gasps> Got it. I will follow and investigate her closely. I'll stick to her like glue. Or it'll be like I'll expose all her secrets. Uh, I'll stick to her like glue. Just kidding. Hmm. There seems to be a misunderstanding. I think you need to relax, first and foremost. Huh, so we maybe try that? Run, it's going to be coffee. My special herbal tea! Herbal tea featuring a blend of 13 herbs that'll help you relax! I make some coffee with that tea in it, then add tofu, bananas, and strawberries. All of which has stress reducing properties! <gasps> Her. I'm not feeling particularly stressed right now. I think I'll pass, okay? So, uh, see you later, Tunic! You can do it!
Thanks, Nokia, you've abandoned me. Ah, perfect. I hope this works. Hee <laughs> hee. Cotton candy. Do you know what you want to do after high school? If not, think about it now. Sure, sooner or later. I don't know. We'll uh, do more of those later. Do 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 do. So close. So close. Ain't this 130? Not even close. Ouch. We'll go to Ankylomon, I guess. Just because we can? Okay, that'll do. No need to recover? Okay. Like this, and then we're gonna go off Kellen level five. Connect droop, and away we go. Get away, don't come close. Get away. Just be a second, I guess. See if I can't get to level 5 another way? See you guys in just a moment. Oh, phone call in Galactic Park. What were you doing, Tunic? I waited for a while at the meeting place, but when you didn't show, I went on to Kowloon level 5. Please, come and join me here as soon as you can. Okay, so yeah, you have to go to Kowloon level 1, Galactic Park to get the phone call. And then you go to Kowloon level 5. Cause... Hilarious. Jeez, you're as laid back as ever. Time flies, you know? I really wanted to go with you. I beg you. Please protect Hugo in my place. Leave it to me. I've got this, Nokia. I've got Mega- Well, you also have- You have like a Super Mega. You got like a Double Mega. Oh, 
off we go to level 5! You're late. The interchange should be beyond this area, but there's a wall preventing us from going any further. Farther. There's no other way around. If we don't do something quickly, we'll lose our quarry again. <gasps> you want me to calm down? I'm worked up? Me? My father was de defeated, and now I'm about to finally get my revenge. Of course I'm worked up. What's wrong with that? You're just worried about me? I didn't ask for your concern. Please don't be worried on my account. You really are a happy-go-lucky person, aren't you? Surrounded by friends and always... And always smiling like a fool. I am grateful about how you saved me before. But please don't put on this weird act of pretending like we're friends now. We were already friends. I don't know what went on inside my heart, but as far as I know, you and I are not friends. You don't know what a friend is. You don't know the actual definition of a friend. What was that? Anyone who could say that to me could probably be my friend? What kind of flowery, lo flowery logic is that? Are you expecting to win me over with some sappy words? Huh? Good friend, you're so... I'm at a loss for words. We're literally fighting the apocalypse together. How can you say we're not friends? Well, well, if it isn't acting President Kamishiro. Eh. I hope you are doing well. This is not the... I don't know. Mr. Suedo? Surely there's no need for such caution. We all know each other here, no? <gasps> oh my, Tanik, are you upset? Might it be the situation with Arata that's troubling you? I heard about it from Tunic. What did you do to Arata? I merely offered him a tiny bit of assistance in helping his wishes to come true. Consequently, consequently, it also made my wishes come true. On the whole, it was very good for our relationship. That's no answer. What the heck happened to him? Let's just say I assisted in his evolution. He wanted power. Great power at that. But even if such were avail such was available, there would be a limit to how as to how much his body could handle. Thus, I recommended assimilation with an eater. <gasps> he accepted my recommendation, assimilated with an eater, and obtained great abilities because of it. The eaters prey on data to store information. Arata can now absorb data and increase his power. His body is slowly being altered so that he can bear it. Repairs his dreams and enhancements due to the sudden increase in his powers. But it's not anything to worry about, so just relax. Yuko, the data, the data from your stimulation with the Eater was very helpful. Huh? I'm glad I monitored your, monitored your status on the sly. What happened to you? You were completely overtaken, and yet here you are! Having- have no concerns on that point! Adjustments were made. Conditions set to clearly prioritize Arata. <gasps> What's this? Why are you so angry? And at what? He has undergone the evolution he wished for. You would deny him his wishes, as the real world does with its limits and impossibilities. <gasps> Mr. Suedo, were you aware of Miss Ree's true identity? And did you help her regardless? 
I noticed that her psyche was something other than human. But there was no way I had of knowing that she was the Digimon known as Crusadermon. Moreover, her actions have caused me quite a bit of consternation myself. She is attempting to bring about not only the end of the human race, but of the world itself. This is quite out of line with my wishes. It's simple reckless violence on her part. My vision is to see the evolution of our world, not its destruction. Therefore, I have a proposal for the two of you. Although our final goals may differ, at present, our objectives should be aligned. Would you therefore consider a partnership? A partnership? With you? The program she is using to control digital ways is the program I originally wrote. Accordingly, it will be a trivial matter for me to render it harmless. However, I would be completely helpless if Crusader Mon attack me. So until our objective is met, I'd like to hire you as my bodyguards. What do you say? Tunic. A partnership sounds like a good idea for now. At the very least, he can be reasoned with. At least more than we can reason with Miss Reed, who might bring about the end of the world any moment. My, my, thank you. Well then, let's get moving. Thanks, I hate it. Shall we proceed? Welcome to Kowloon Level 5. That's the interchange. Such incredible density for digital wave behavior to be visible at such a level. If we make it if we make it that far, can we stop the flow? Yes, we just enter the shutout camp command directly. Doing that will block the digital wave flow and should help the supply to Examon as well. There are traps set up throughout the area. An interference field is jamming communication with the outside, too. Hehe, <laughs> how very thorough. Then, does that mean that Crusadermon is hiding somewhere in this area after all? I do seem to be detecting a large data mast. I don't know if it's Crusadermon, but it is certainly one of the entities known as the Royal Knights. Okay, just uh, give me control. Creepers, creepers. We're going to the Diddy Lab to just check things out. Seeing if anyone can digivolve. Salamon can digivolve to Frigimon! Yay! Sunomon digivolve to... Zubamon! That looks like it's going to digivolve into a royal knight. Anyway. We will see what happens. That's it for that one. We'll 
we'll go with, I don't know, Gekomon. Okay, that's uh, about it. No need to recover. Okay, so... We shall leave the Digilab. And, uh, I think before we really get into, uh... Kowloon Level 5, we're gonna end this here, because we've done a lot. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, drop a comment down in the section below. And subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, yeah, I did just give you finger guns, even though you can't see it. Anyway, uh, I'll drop a link to my Twitter and the Discord server down in the description below. If you have any interest in either of those. So, thank you again for watching. Next time on Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, uh, we're gonna go have a look at uh, Kelly Level 5. See if we don't find Crusader Mon and get to that interface. See you guys then.